Ah, Whirl. The Deadpool of Transformers. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Mastermind Creations Turban. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have a nice image of Turban. On the top, we have Turban. On the side, we have Turban and Turban. On the other side, we have Turban and Turban. On the bottom, warning, please don't eat anything in this box. That can be very bad for you. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots he can do that he can walk he can be a thing with arms and legs he can walk he can walk he can stand and he can stand that way and that's basically it for the packaging also included is the collector's card with another nice image there of turban and on the back you have tech specs if that interests you hooray for cards so moving right along here we have turban which is mastermind creations take on NIDW World. Now, it's not slavish to his IDW design. They did take some liberties with it, but still, it's the, the, the spirit of it is there. <laughs> but here he is in his alt mode, and I really, really dig his alt mode. I think that looks really, really cool. It's kind of a VTOL aircraft, and um, looks quite nice. And just the design alone, I really dig. If they, if they painted this black, this would totally be something Batman would use. I mean, really. I mean, look at that. That's, yeah. It just has Batman written all over it, but anyway. <laughs> but it looks really cool. And he has a nice transparent yellow plastic there for the cockpit. Got the little gun up front. You got some black there. Uh, the propellers here do spin. They don't spin freely, but you can spin them. And there is some, uh, some silver in there as well around the rim. And you get some nice molded details. You get some more details here picked out in silver. Just going down the body. You got the fins there in the back. Again, I really dig the design. I really like that. And there's the back. There's the bottom. It does have four landing gear with rolling wheels. It actually rolls decently. Still more slides than rolls, but you know, it gets the job done. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Now he does include some weaponry for his alt mode. He does have these two guns. Which are done in a nice gun metal gray with some black here for that little fin in the back. Pretty cool. Some nice detail going on. And these just plug in underneath the wings. They just go over these bits right here. And just plug on like so and like so. Get on there. Like that. And now he's all armed up. So, there you go. And for comparison, here it is with Mastermind's Cyclonus. So you can see how they scale with one another. So you got that going on. And here he is with Generations Whirl, the Voyager. So you can see how they look together. So there you have that. And that is basically it for his alt mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to start uh, back here. You just want to untab these fins right here. And you're just going to bring this whole armature up like that. Just get all that out of the way. And you're going to take this back section here and just lift that up. You can see two pegs are just peg it under there, there's a double hinge, just bring that up like that, and then you, you might need this to help you, there you go, help you untab the legs, they just tab in right, right there, and then, uh, before you do this, I always forget to do this, you want to take the little gun up front here, flip that in, and now you want to take this and just bring that down, let me raise this camera up a bit so that's room operates, there we go, much better, much, much better. So once you do that, just rotate the waist, 180, the landing gears here, you can now fold up. These landing gears you can also push in. And now we will work on the legs. So we just split the legs, you rotate them here at the top of the thigh, bring up this panel right here, 
flip up the foot. Now you can leave the leg like this if you want to. You totally can, you have the option, but what you're supposed to do is you push this little blue button right here and that will allow you to extend the leg, which is quite tight. There you go, extend that, and then you can give him his chicken legs. So, there you go. So they're going on, second verse, same as the first, just rotate, bring that up, flip up the foot, push the button, extend the leg, this one's a lot tighter, there we go. Bring that back, bring that forward, and there you have his legs all done. So now we will work on the upper body. So you want to just come to these panels right here and just bring them up. You can see, just go over those bits right there. Lift that up, like so. The arms themselves are on sliders, so you just take them, you just slide them forward, then you just rotate them up. Then you just untab right there, swing the arm down and around. You have a slider right here, just push that, and that will extend these little claw hands. You can open those up. And there you have an arm all done. Second fast, much like the fast. Bring that forward, rotate, rotate. Slide up the hand, open up the hand if you wish. And there you got the arms all done. So now you just come back here, this comes down, you want to kind of get under here and push his head up. And just bring that down the rest of the way, get his head up and out of the way. And once you've done that, these sections right here are just going to come up. You can see there's a little tab in slot right there. And I'll tab in, and then you just fold this down, fold this up, fold this down, and everything compresses in a nice neat little package. Right there. Let's do the same thing on the other one. Add that in, bring that down, bring that up, bring that down, and there you have the backpack all done. And then you just take his head, turn it around, and you straighten out his little antenna there. And there you have Turban, aka Whirl, in his robot mode, and I like it, I like it. And again, it's not it's not dead on with his IDW design, but it's it's there in spirit. But I do overall still really like the way he looks. I think it looks really cool. So let's get in close here, not on his chest, but on his noggin. There it is. Not much to it. It's Whirl's head, which looks just like Whirl's head. <laughs> Got the one big eye there. Got the antenna. And yeah, that's 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 Whirl's. That's his face right there. <laughs> But overall though, again, I think it's a really cool design. The chest, uh, you can actually fold this down if you want to. If you want things to look a little bit more streamlined, but for wireless is meant to uh, stay stay up like that. Again, that's more in keeping with his design. But you have the option, if you wish. Again, just taking a look at the details here. Got some claws, got some nice silver here for the thighs. As well as some details there picked out in silver on the inner part of the leg it's big old feet on the back a little bit of a backpack you know with what's left of the uh the vtol there yeah overall very very nice now articulation wise the head can rotate can do a full 360 do have that transformation joint right there to move the head forward and back you have a hinge right there so you can look all the way like, pass all the way up and he can look down um that's pretty much all the articulation you get there uh the arms can do a full 360 they can go in and out right here and also there is a hinge there at well that moves a little bit so you have that much movement there you do have rotation at the bicep you do have a double jointed elbow so you get nice range of movement there you also have rotation at the forearm uh, the hands, his claws, uh, do have rotation, and each claw is individually articulated. You have a hinge there and a hinge there. So you can get some range of movement there as well. Would have been nice if this actually locked into place, because sometimes you can kind of start to push his hand in without meaning to, so it would have been nice if maybe there's a little clicking point there at the end. Uh, he does have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far. Back that far on a ratchet. Outward movement is on a very soft ratchet. 
we can do the full splits. You do have rotation at the thigh. This panel right here is on its own, uh, it's on its own swivel, so you can move that around if you want to, but that's very tight. Uh, you have a nice ratcheted knee joint right there, which gives you over 90 degrees, this is where my tongue stops working, over 90 degrees of movement there, as well as this hinge here, which is on a softer ratchet. But I can move forward that much and can move back that much. So you get a nice range of movement there with the legs. This little panel here can move up and down. And the foot is on the ball joint. It can move up. It can move all the way down to the transformation. And you do get some nice tiltage going on there. So all in all, he is pretty usable. Now he does include one more accessory. He includes Mastermind Creations' absolute favorite sword. <laughs> it seems like this sword comes with almost every figure they release. They love, they love this sword. They love it, man. <laughs> you can see it's done in a nice gunmetal gray. It is a different design, but still, it's, it's pretty much the same sword they include with almost every figure. It's their favorite sword ever. But again, done in a nice gun metal gray. You know, a little dot of gold there. And he can hold it as I drop it. <laughs> you just open up his hand. You can see he actually has a little opening right there for it. You can just slide that in and wrap his little claws around it. And he can wield the sword if you wish. So, there you go. Oh, well, that's pretty much it there. So now for comparison. Here he is with Masterminds Cyclonus. So you can see how they look together. Here he is with Masterminds Rodimus. So you can see how they scale with one another. Now, of course, granted, you know, you can make him taller or shorter depending on how you have the legs oriented. Totally up to you. And that's basically how he scales there with Rodimus. And here he is with Generations Whirl. So you can see how well, they look together. So there you go. Now one other thing to mention is you can store the sword in robot mode. You can't store it in his uh, in his vehicle mode, but you can't store it in his robot mode. There is a, uh, you can see there's a slot right in there. You can take the sword and just slip it through there like that. And it's a way to store the sword there on his back, if you want to store it. Um, these guns, that's basically where those guns stay. Um, you can't hold them, you can't plug them anywhere else, they just, they, they go right there and that's where they go. <laughs> that's all you can do with those guns, is just plug them right there and leave them there, but you can store the sword on his back if you want to, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Turban, aka Whirl. Um, a very cool figure, I love the design. Again, it's not slavish to the comic book, but still, I really dig the design. Um, very nicely done. Um, I like the transformation. The transformation is, you know, not too simple, not too complicated. I think I think Mastermind has come up with that kind of happy medium between simplicity and complexity um, that I personally love. I know some people prefer the, the, you know, I know some people prefer the figures that are like a million steps, but, you know, this for me is like kind of the sweet spot. You know, it's not too simple, but you're not, you know, transforming it for half an hour. So it, for, for, the, for, for me anyway... Um, you know, Mastermind toys are uh, are a lot more playable in that regard. Uh, for me, anyway, just just my personal preference. But although, uh, very cool figure. I like him. I like him very, very much. So, there you go. So, if you would like this or any of Mastermind Creations' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Mastermind Creations Turban, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Home in your face. Aw, oh, come on, Cyclonus. No. Come on, please! No! Come on, I need a wingman for this! It'll be great! Tonight, while Rodimus is sleeping, we sneak into his room, 
we dip his hand into a bowl of warm water and we watch him leak all over himself. Come on, tell me that's not hilarious. It'll be so much fun. Come on, come on, come on. I do not approve of such childish antics. Ah, fine. Your loss. Well, he thinks he's so funny, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he's got something coming. You want to put plastic wrap on his doorway? Goody!